All right, I got this uh, flash drive here today. Yeah. So these flash drives have been really landing here in big numbers recently. Every time I see this metal uh, connector protection piece on a flash drive, I cringe. I already had like four of them this week and they're all different types they're all different sizes uh, just complete mess so that stuff right here this Thursday the week is getting closer and closer towards the weekend Tomorrow is the last day, and then it's a couple of days off. Relaxation time begins. We got a two. We got two NANs that are ran by SM3257ENL controller. So quick inspection on the controller. Yeah, controller is had been separated from the um, flash drive. So, what does that mean? That means that most likely this is not going to be a chip off recovery. This is going to be a recovery where by attaching this controller again, we'll make the device work again. But first, let's confirm that the controller actually is separating. I, I do see a little bit of a stress that's on it. Right there. Yeah, if it moves like that, it's definitely not attached. Um, the rest of the design looks pretty good. And I mean, you know, um, it's a rare occurrence where the TSO P48 chips would be in bad condition. So I would say if I had to guess, removing this, inspecting the pads would be the proper way to get data from this dreaded device. Masked up. So the idea here is to see how many pads are actually damaged. Because if they're not damaged at all. This could be very simple to uh, just fix things up. Some pads are missing. This is unassigned pad. I don't care about it. The rest is good, which is a great, a great news actually, because the rest seemed like they were pretty much attached and needed. gonna use oh this is gonna be so satisfying Ah, ooh, damn it.
All right, that's that wasn't planned. Although I should have known that that's a possibility. I should have known that this could have happened. I needed to take all the precautionary measures to not let it happen. I really like this um, controller because the ground pad here is isolated. I don't even have to worry about it. I can just mount this up. It's important here to line them up because if I don't line up those uh, pads, the um, chances of having a short on them is much much higher all right now to the controller work so the controller has this has this tiny dot right there that dot guys indicates where the first leg should be and that slant and the dot there indicate that that's where it should be on the board so what I need to do here is uh, maybe tin the chip a little bit Now why am I going to just ignore this pad here that uh, had gone missing? Well, because it's not going, it's not leading to anything. You see, it's not connected to anything. So that pad there is not needed at all. This is beautiful. That jumped, uh, um, those two pads that are jumped right there, that doesn't ma make any difference. They're supposed to be jumped by layout, so it's uh, all good. And the rest is nice and shiny. I'm going to go here and plug it in right here just to see this come up yeah 
that's all it was. Yeah, damage connector will do that to a flash drive. Uh, damage controller will do that to a flash drive. Pretty much anything physically damaged on the flash drive will make that happen. This was a pleasant repair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably not even going to have to uh, fast forward anything on that unit. And uh, yeah, if you flex your flash drive, that's the first thing that should be checked. Check, make sure that uh, everything is still attached. Anything that's vital has to be attached still to the device in order for it to work. And um, that was it. In this case, reworking the uh, controller, making sure there are no critical pads missing. What was, what, that's exactly what solved this case. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, as always, put them in the description down below. Uh, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share the video. I really appreciate it. It really does help us out in a major, major way. So you guys uh, have a great remaining part of your day. And I think you're going into a weekend. So have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you next week.